Okay, yeah, my, uh, my name is Cy Bounds, and uh, this is Captain uh, Devin Filler, uh, Delvin Fuller. Fuller. Delvin Fuller, yeah. This is Meet the Professionals at Orr High School. Very important occasion here. Uh, Captain Fuller is going to explain to us uh, what he's doing and the relevance of it to the young people. And I want to ask you that question. Uh, uh, is your business or, or your profession, would you consider it, uh, a Captain, a sustainable business? Uh, is it something that I can say, uh, to tell a young person, this is a sustainable opportunity? This falls into that category? I'm glad you asked that, because right now, as a professional pilot, I've been in a slow turn, I've been in the high end where things have been picking up. But then right now, there's an article in the USA Today that talks about the need for pilots. And the government changed that, the age group to 65, from 60 to 65. But now we're at a point where these pilots are being forced to retire by age, which is fine because now it opens up the door for movement. They are predicting that within the next four to five years, that nationwide, worldwide, there'll be a need for 400,000 pilots. And any young person that's coming into aviation today, coming out of college, about to go into college and get into aviation field, can almost or can write their own ticket as Incredible. a pilot when they graduate, which means that they can go anywhere in the world as a pilot. I mean, China, Asia, Guam, Arabia, Saudi Arabia, Spain, France. Wow. Is, and not only that, for our African-American brothers and sisters and young people, we're considered minorities. Yes, we are. Yes, yes. We are a minority in the aviation industry. Yes. Which means that there is a dire need for more minorities. That means opportunity, right? Opportunity. That's what that means. Yeah. Opportunity, exactly right. And by the grace of God, I've had that opportunity to fly a private jet, which is a Gulfstream G4. Okay. I fly it all around the world. I've been all over the world. Wow. Fly some of the great Richard Famous, Mark Anthony, Jennifer Lopez, Jay Z, Beyonce. Jack Incredible. Jack. So I've had that privilege, but it just didn't come overnight. Yes, I yes. Had to go to school and prepare myself for the opportunity. Well, was, Captain Fuller, no, no, no. I just want to ask, how would uh, some of the youngsters in the Orr community? Uh, in, in, in your, uh, I'm asking you uh, in, a, in a creative way here. How, what would be, if you were one of those young, one of the young people here, uh, and, uh, and they're going to hear this, they're going to hear this, but where would they start? Where would they, what would be the place, uh, a significant, not just a, a start in the dark, what would, where would you creatively tell them to go okay. to get on this path? And what are they? What are they? What kind of aptitude do they need for this, sir? First of all, you got to be able to read, speak, and understand the English language. Okay. I'm not talking about ebonics, but I'm talking okay. about English okay. language, proper language, yes, proper sir. English. Secondly, you cannot um, not, not be focused. Drugs is not a good thing in aviation because there's random drug tests and all those things. So, I, as an advocate to young people, to be clean, to be free of drugs and alcohol. Thank you.